Marvel Knights thing. And this is uh, Vampirella Zero, which was cool because inside is an example of Jimmy Palmiotti inking over himself. So, that's a nice book. And it, oh, this blue, man, this blue looks great. The blue came out just on um, pitch on this one, like, no holidays. Uh, you can't see anything underneath, it's just stark. I wish they all were like that, man. Like the boys been saying, live by the paint pins, die by the paint pins. And that's true. Fortunately, when you're dealing with an inker, they, they understand the pressure and, and how, to, how to glide it along. And I appreciate that, man. Um, this isn't my greatest picture. I think, I think this picture added more than 10 pounds on me, but he looks great. So that's the main thing. You can see my books uh, laying out. I don't know. I, I was kind of leaning forward, <laughs> but yeah, um, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool guy. All right. So I spent the next part of Saturday with this artist and he was at uh, A1 Portacio what can I say about this guy this guy basically took took me and this other fan named Michael under his wing for like an hour and he just talked to us about um, fitness because man this guy looks great you know uh, I've met him a few times and the hits just keep rolling. <laughs> uh, I feel like Jimmy Stewart and Rwendo just... No. Uh, this guy was talking about his family, um, his heritage, visiting the Philippines, um, uh, basically getting into shape, his health history, um, all the really motivating, really motivating things about, you know, making comebacks in life and um, man oh man the more he talked the more his wife kinda tried to move things along it's not that other fans were coming up it's just that I could just tell she just prefers to have like control of the booth but he just wanted to talk and uh, he signed my books um, he usually charges for this one he didn't charge me a thing I think he knew once I had him sign the inside of this book to my brother and then inscribe safe journeys that it wasn't a flip uh, and it wasn't a slab job <laughs> but um, this is a book I got from uh, Dross Sears a couple years ago in an auction a uh, silent auction um, blind auction I forget but uncanny 282 from 91 signed it in a ballpoint pin to my brother uh, Guy Michael, who was, you know, uh, also talking with uh, Mr. Protasio, didn't know he'd worked on Spawn. And the thing I love about Protasio is, despite the time he came up, when a lot of people wanted to draw like Jim Lee, he had his own style and his anatomy, where he kind of elongated bodies in a different way. Um, his faces were different. He drew like longer faces. They weren't like square jawed. Uh, this book right here, man, he told me they spent two weeks doing this book, and this book is a feast for the eyes. you got to get this book. Uh, the coloring isn't that great, and the printing is a little, um, the way the ink is stamped on, it's a little muddled, but man, oh man, I'd love to see this book, uh, you know, um, put back out, you know, on, on a nicer paper. Uh, this is uh, Uncanny uh, 267 from early September of 90. Fuck, this is a nice book inside. Jim, Protasio, and uh, Williams. All just in their prime. So, we got some Punisher 10 in purple. Looks pretty good. Punisher 17 and interestingly enough he was doing a commission he was working on a commission of a Punisher and I could just tell he didn't feel like working on it. he wanted to talk man and you know when an artist they're doing all the talking and they really don't want you to go 15 they, they probably don't feel like drawing 
and all this guy wanted to do was talk about his family and his friends and his health. And we let him in. We just, it was great to just let him have the floor. It was one of those situations where you meet an artist and you're listening. You're not waiting to gush. You're not waiting to talk. You're just enjoying, enjoying them, having a good time at this con. This is a, a X Factor. Volume 1, was that 10? Or 68. Yes. And this is a really cool one. Like I said, I was having a Daredevil day. Uh, Daredevil Annual 4. I don't know what made him decide on green, but I think it's a really cool choice. Because, you know, it's right where the yellow and the blue meet, so it's a nice green. I don't know if that's what he was thinking, but... Yeah, the man looks great. He's He looks like he's just really fit. I got a couple of pictures with them. I chose this one to print out though. Alright, so almost done. Uh, I didn't get a lot from the signature. I didn't get a lot of signatures from this man for myself, but uh, Art Thibert, I spent a fair amount of time at his booth um, talking, looking at original art, but this is the uh, Ultimate Spider Man 42. To this moment, I don't know why he signs Mo. Uh, but that's the Ultimate Spider-Man 42 from uh, 2003, signed Art Thibert. And interestingly enough, he also he worked on that first uh, Bishop book, uh, 282. But uh, it had already been signed to my brother. I didn't really, you know, it was, it was fine the way it is. It wasn't one of those days where I had to get multiple sigs. And would you, would you look at this Lois Lane? I don't believe he inked the cover. Man, oh man, I love the placement on that. I just, I saw him do that, I'm like, man, you busted that out nice. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> and, check this out. You want to see a nice print? You want to see some beautiful eye contact? Check that out. I asked him so many times, please sign it in my uh my green he's like oh, i want to do red i want to do red it's a red head can i do red i'm like yeah i really want green but okay and he hit it with red uh, it's cool i mean he totally nailed the placement again he mowed it <laughs> but i was moated <laughs> yeah it's fine i just sometimes red it's just all right but like i said man sometimes it's not about the siggy it's about the experience uh, I met this guy just briefly. I had a book for him. I walked by. It was kind of a hit and run. He was talking with the fan, and, and they didn't even lose um, track of what they were saying. Um, Norman uh, Raplin. And by the way, I didn't get a picture with Art Thibert, but let me see. For those of you who don't know him offhand... He's a funny as hell guy, too. He's really funny, actually. He's a silly man. If you were to make uh, a pasta statue out of this guy, you would definitely use Fusilli. Uh, Norman Roplin, he's also in here. But, uh, yeah, I just really saw him very, very quick. Um, like I said, I just had the one book. <coughs> I had a much better time, actually, the next day uh, meeting uh, Anthony Ray Height. I'd never met him before, and, um, man, yeah, he was, Anthony Area Height is, he's a cool guy, man, um, right there, and, you know, he's, like, on first name basis with Airborne, you know, they, they've met several times, and, um, yeah, it was just great, it was great to be there for that moment, a lot more on that from Airborne. Where the hell is Raplin? Just so I can show you the man. Uh, this whole thing right here. Sakai. That's a nice picture of Sakai. He just looks like a like a little country mouse, you know? Like, if, if you were to incorporate himself into a Usagi, he'd use a little country mouse. Uh, there's Brad Raider, who signed the, the Batman books. Um, not so important another page anyway let's let's wrap this up um 
So I, I bought these from Angelo's Comics. Um, I just bought multiple. This is my favorite Middleton cover. I mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, this is a gorgeous Poison Ivy. And I learned from Drasir that this is all done with practicals. So I mean, it's some um, traditional art on you know a surface with tools. And I, I just thought, shout out to Spidey fan. Uh, He's working on all the Simpsons comics. I thought that was a cool looking Simpsons cover. So that was all I got from Angelo's comics. Unfortunately, he didn't have like all of his cool stuff. Uh, this was a gift from Airborne. Thanks, Sap. Uh, unfortunately, Tim Bradstreet was a no-show, which was a shame for him because his booth was right in front of where they were doing the body painting. And, um, you know, <laughs> aside from maybe a couple of pasties, um, he missed quite a show. I mean, that would have been an all-day show with seating for him. And uh, I just got this. Uh, we bumped into a really cool guy I know from the Zombie Tramp community. Um, had a great talk with him. I I like his channel a lot. Um, uh, he was looking for a GG Rockets to do some art for him, like these little things she makes. But um, yeah, it was great to uh, see some someone from the zombie tramp community uh really nice to see him uh and then we also saw uh alex who used to do the zombie tramp show but uh i just kind of bumped into him i i was talking to a steve stern the creator of zen intergalactic ninja and uh, he signed this for me and this is cool man this book actually has the old archie stuff in it too So yeah, it was great to see some people from the Zombie Tramp community. Uh, got this one as well. He signed one, but he forgot to give me the one he signed. Steve Cern signed this. This is a uh, X-ray glasses uh, Sam Keith cover. And my last purchase of the day I wanted to make was um, I wanted to get this book Sarah, but they wouldn't sell it to me cash. They wanted to charge me. They wanted to use their little card meter. So I just said, Nah, man, I. Uh, the guy wouldn't take paper for it. So it was time to go. It was too struck out on a lot of things. Saw a couple people. Didn't see uh, uh, someone I was actually looking for, a comic addiction. I think he was going to be at the show. Uh, didn't see him, but it was great, man. Um, really cool. Say goodbye to Sapper. Uh, uh, that's about it. I didn't see my LCS owner, Enrique. But anyway, before the video cuts out, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for letting me do a kickback video where I can just kind of like um, sit back and uh, not have to worry about framing the books. I just held them up. So anyway, that's it. Uh, have a great June. Um, I still got, I got a dress here comic video, like a uh, uh, contest to do and a couple of other things. And I got recycling to do, and I got to see my dentist in an hour. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.